Y'all, it's cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jaya, but you can call me Holly J. And as y'all can tell by the title, I'm back to share with you a hair a little review of this 88J Ginger Tea Part Closure Wig. Y'all, it's cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I definitely had to like really style this hair around a look that I had planned so that for me it worked out because this is very much out of my comfort zone. Um, I think that it's pretty. I don't know if I could do it long term, but it definitely it was cute for this look I was trying to serve. Um, let's just get into the lace and the baby hair. Okay, and then I made this tea part wig a side part because normally I've seen a lot of girls wear it down the middle. But I wanted to try something different and especially with the look I was going for, I felt like a side part worked better. The texture is great. It's soft. There's no shedding. It's an easy install because of the tea part. It's a little bit limiting, but as you can see, if you work it, you can have to side you. If you work it, you can get a side part. Um, I cut a little layers in the bang so that it lay right, kind of lay it down so that it, you know, you gotta jazz it up, but quick. This was definitely a quick and expensive style that you can grab right from Amazon. So baby, if it's on Prime, then you can get it in two days. All right, you know, I'm a big Amazon shopper when it comes to fashion, beauty, whatever related. I'll be on there. So that's another plus. And like I said, you can change up your style for the low and quickly. And then, you know, go back to whatever floats your boat. So overall, like I said, I was very pleased with the wig. Um, not many issues. Pretty simple install. And if you're interested in, you know, what I wore to style this hair and, you know, how I went about installing it on the side, just keep watching. Now, over here is a mess, but what I'm thinking is I will give myself like a sideburn situation. So just trust the process because like I said, I'm making this a side part when it is intended to be a uh, middle part. But I wanted to try something different. So we have to improvise. So yeah, I just wanted to stop and like give the lace a bit of praise. But now I'm gonna just clean up over here and um, start to get the baby hairs together and then we'll style the hair and boom. <laughs> start to style the hair now I've done my makeup I forgot blush so I gotta put some blush on but I'm just gonna start to style the hair oh one second I need my mirror 
I'm just gonna style the hair so I have my hot comb in case. I definitely think I need to lay the roots down. Um, but y'all like, okay, side part coming through. Like what? I know it was looking real rocky <laughs> to begin with, but I had a vision. I felt like if I'm gonna do color hair, I would like it better on the side plus it's curly. Um, so I think it looks really pretty, but like, let's keep fixing it. So I just got water and leave-in conditioner in here and I have way more conditioner than water in it on purpose. Um, I may need to cut some layers to this, to this part of it so that it lays right. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do that and we'll see what the finish look looks like. Black female urge to uh, make sure your hair matches your outfit. That's how I'm feeling. Okay, so this is my final kind of hair look. This 88J Ginger Beauty Forever from Amazon. 150% density tea part wig. Y'all, it's really giving cute. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it really is cute. Um, so I'm just gonna go put my clothes on so I can get ready to take my picture and y'all will see like the whole vibe, okay? But as of right now, it's really cute. I need to kind of like wet the front again because I was messing with it so much, but it's cute. It's cute. I didn't know. I was like, I'm gonna put this wig on and I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> so I might keep it on for a little longer. Just a little longer. I might, I might, I might. But yeah, I'm just trying to frame the hair for my face a little bit more. Since I kind of want this like flip over kind of look. But I like my face. I don't want to cover the whole other side of my face. See, that's perfect. Perfect. And then I'm gonna wear it tucked behind. You could pull it to the side. I could throw it to the back. I could put one over the shoulder, one over the shoulder. y'all so I'm back I had to go because I had to go get these pics okay it was getting dark I got a late start to filming today so I had to go outside get the pictures done and then just come back to show y'all what I ended up putting on and then I'll also y'all can go follow me on Instagram if you want to go see the look okay but this is the final look and finish okay I cut layers in the hair I tucked it back I wear it for sometimes like this is giving Jessica Rabbit to the front like it's cute I don't know how I feel about going out into the world and doing my regular regular things with orange hair like I don't know how I feel about it but for this look and like on my skin and everything like I think it looks good you know like I was pleasantly surprised so for the look I have on so for the look I have on this bodycon um kind of like shapewear it's been very popular I've been seeing it in a lot of the like boutiques and whatnot and girl you know girl, you know I ain't spent eighty dollars on this at nobody's boutique like I respect the hustle but baby if Amazon got it I'm gonna shop with them this is a great investment though like if you have been thinking about a piece like this 
definitely go get one. I could drop the link. So yes, I paired it with the varsity jacket from the John collection. It's the lover boy edition. She dropped this around when the um album was coming out. So I was like, oh, I need one of those. I can style that real cute. And then I put on my trusty dusty. Emphasis on dusty. On my trusty dusty Converse platform. I think these are the High Runner All Star High Runner High Runners. I could be wrong, don't quote me, but these are my babies. They are my babies. They go with everything. Um, and then I paired it with my new bag, which I'm gonna feature this bag in my um collective haul. But this is one of my most recent pickups from Aldo. I think it looks like a dupe for like the new Balenciaga city bags. I love it. And it comes with like a strap. And then I also did a little look with my shades from the Juice Box collection. Juice Box collection ring, okay? Accessories. I don't remember where I got this ring from, but another. So if you want to know where I got anything that I have on from, just hit a comment down below. I'll let you know. But the star of the show was the wig, okay? So yes, girl, like that is the end of this video. To see how my pictures came out and what the look was given on camera, go, go over to my Instagram at hollyxj, hollyxj, um, right now. And they should be live, so go ahead and double tap. Because, like I said, I was scared about this hair. But I'm pleasantly surprised, like, okay? If I were to do ginger again, I would definitely tone it down. Tone it down so that I could wear it on a daily basis. But, like I said, I am pleased, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next one.